Hello and welcome to the Red and Zoom's English History Podcast. I'm your host, Heather Tesco, and I'm a storyteller who makes history accessible because I believe it's a pathway to understanding who we are, our place in the universe, and to being in touch with our own humanity. So, in 1567, Queen Elizabeth needed money. She had a number of projects she wanted to do, especially rebuilding ports and building new ships for the Navy. Her bank account was essentially running dry, and she could have either raised taxes or held a lottery in order to fill it back up again. And she decided to go with the lottery option. So this was England's first ever national lottery, 1567. The tickets were 10 shillings each, which was beyond the means of an ordinary citizen. So this makes it different from modern lotteries, which are often priced low so that low-income people can afford them. This lottery was targeted to the upper class, and it became a perk in society to have bought a ticket. The first prize was £5,000, which was enormous. It was paid partly in cash, partly in plate, tapestries, and, quote, good linen cloth. So I kind of wonder if Queen Elizabeth was doing the decluttering Congo thing to uh, to get rid of her linen and decided to add it into the, the lottery prizes. It's funny to think about. To encourage more people to buy tickets, anyone who bought a ticket was promised freedom from arrest for all crimes other than murder, felonies, piracy, or treason. So, you know, you could go crazy, but show your lottery ticket, and that was your get-out-of-jail-free card, literally. An advertisement set out the cost of entry, the number of entries, and the prizes. The number of entries was limited to 400,000, and unfortunately, the winner's identity has been lost to history. But here's what it said. I actually included a picture on the website of what of the poster advertising the lottery and here's what it said it says a very rich lottery general without any blanks containing a great number of good prizes as well as ready money and of plate and certain merchandises having been valued and priced by the commandment of the queen's most excellent majesty by men expert and skillful and the same lottery is erected by her majesty's order to the intent that such commodity as may chance to arise thereof, after the charge is born, may be converted towards the reparation of the havens and the strength of the realm, and towards such other public good works. The number of lots shall be four hundred thousand and no more, and every lot shall be the sum of ten shillings sterling only and no more. And whosoever shall win the greatest and most excellent prize shall receive the value of £5,000 sterling, that is to say, £3,000 in ready money, £700 in plate gilt, and the rest in good tapestry made for hangings and other covertures and certain sorts of good linen cloth. The person who won second prize received the value of £3,500 in ready money plate and the aforementioned discarded linen cloth, And the third prize was 3,000 pounds in money, plate, and cloth. The lottery was considered a voluntary tax, and the practice of lottery as a national fundraising method has survived and grown around the world. In England, it has survived to this day, and it was set up again as a state franchise lottery under the government license in 1993 under John Major. So that's the history of England's first lottery.